Good morning, Australia, and welcome to The Scoop, the number one morning nightly video game news chat show hosted by an autonomous robot. I am your host, Darren. Morning nightly, how exactly does that work? Uh, prove me wrong, Jem, prove me wrong. Oh, and everybody, welcome Jem! Yeah, hi, hello! Oh. Now, let's talk gaming news. The R Rhythm game Beat Saber has recently received an update that included an interesting bug fix. The developers had to make a few adjustments due to some players surpassing movement speeds thought humanly possible. Turns out, this was causing technical issues for some of those extra speedy Saber Smiths. See, Darren, I'm always telling you never underestimate what human beings are capable of. Well, perhaps uh, a further update would of course be needed to allow for these speeds elite gaming units like myself can achieve. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, now, Jem, did you hear about the watermark that inadvertently appeared in Kingdom Hearts 3? The watermark? I played many hours of that game and I didn't see anything like that. Well, I imagine it might be almost imperceptible to the human eye, but I, of course, noticed it immediately. You see, the word Arnold appears for a brief moment on Elsa's arms during a cutscene from the Frozen world. Arnold is the name of a graphics application often used in 3D animation. The watermark occurs when using animation software without what's known as a rendering license. Rendering without a license? Oh dear. Well, I mean, I guess we all make mistakes, right? They are only human after all. <laughs> uh, and now, with so much going on, we haven't had a chance to talk about the news from the recent Nintendo Direct presentation. Some of the highlights included news of a sequel to Super Mario Maker for the Switch due out in June. The Game Boy Classic Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will be remade for the Switch. And Tetris 99 was launched, said to be a reimagining of Tetris as an online last player standing style game. Wow, I guess they really can make anything into a battle royale. <laughs> Uh, now, Jem, it's time for the Extra Scoop! What have you got for us this week? Well, Darren, I quite enjoyed the video of a 67-year-old father performing the character taunts from Super Smash Bros Ultimate. <laughs> Nick Luciano roped his dad in to reenact more than 200 taunts from Yoshi, yeah, yeah. Peach, uh -huh. Young Link, <laughs> And the Duck Hunt duo. This dad has some moves. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Ah, the Duck Hunt duo. Uh, what do you think about your canine compatriot being part of the Smash Brothers roster, Boatmeal? Oh. Uh, Boatmeal's my producer. He's my go-to good boy. Boatmeal. <laughs> ah, affirmative, Boatmeal. It is indeed interesting that some fans refer to the Duck Hunt dog as Mr. Peepers. Now, that's all for The Scoop with Darren this week, but join us next time for all sorts of informative shenanigans. Uh, Darren, how do you know what Boatmeal's saying? Best wave, Jim. Oh, they love me. Oh.